Hi, this is Stefan Yanev, Head of Research and Development for Clean Health. I've been in the fitness industry for over 20 years and lectured over 5,000 trainers around the globe. In today's video, we're going to talk about what is a 1RM or repetition maximum and how often should you test it. Now, a 1RM simply means a one repetition maximum, the maximum amount of weight you can do for one repetition. Now, generally, outside of powerlifters prepping for a meet, there's not really a lot of applicability for testing 1RMs other than really just for your own entertainment purposes to see what weight you can lift. See, if we're training for hypertrophy specifically, we're not really accruing enough volume from simply performing one repetition, yet there's a higher likelihood of injury and also desensitization of beta adrenergic receptors, which makes us more prone to crashing. So in the context of hypertrophy, there's really no point to doing 1RMs other than satisfying your egos. Now, when it comes to power lifters or strength athletes, athletes that need to express their strength, even those athletes most of the time train with repetitions between three to six rather than doing doubles or singles. And that's because, as I just mentioned earlier, if you perform singles or doubles too often, because you need to enter a state of hyperarousal and your adrenaline and noradrenaline levels go through the roof, well, if you're chronically overstimulating adrenaline and noradrenaline, your beta adrenergic receptors become desensitized. They stop responding to the adrenaline and noradrenaline, and over time, that leads to symptoms of low adrenaline and low noradrenaline. So typically, that leads to crashing. So elite weightlifters and powerlifters have known for years that if you max out too often, you will typically hit a wall within about two to three weeks. And we actually have literature to confirm. One study in particular tested what happens if you perform a 1RM squat every day for 14 days in a row. And they found that after two weeks, there was a 37%, so almost 40% downregulation in beta adrenergic receptors, and there was a decrease in the athlete's strength. So even for strength athletes, maxing out and doing singles or 1RMs too often is not optimally conductive to increasing their strength. Most of the time, lifters will train in three to five rep range. That's how they would build strength and build their foundation. And typically, when we do doubles or singles is when we're teaching the body how to express strength. And that typically comes just in those last few weeks before a competition or a meet as we try to acclimatize the body to those heavier loads. But the rest of the time, we're going to be training in a moderate to higher rep range, so even for strength athletes. So I hope that clears up some of the misconceptions about 1RMs, and hopefully you can see that generally there's not a lot of applicability for 1RMs in your training. If you enjoyed that clip from Clean Health, make sure to click the like button and subscribe and share the video with your friends. And if you have any questions at all, post them in the comment section below.